screen. Hi everyone, welcome back. Now in this set of series, what I intend to cover is actually the pricing and valuation of forwards and futures. Now what is the meaning of pricing and valuation? In the context of forwards and futures, price basically refers to what you're calculating at t equal to zero when you're entering into a contract. All right, so price is something that you're calculating today at the time of entering into a contract. It's a t equal to zero affair, whereas valuation is something that you're going to do in between the contract. Like you've entered into the contract today, the maturity of the contract is, let's say, after six months, valuation is something that you're actually doing in between zero and six months. All right, so pricing is a t equal to zero affair, and valuation is a so is an affair that's actually done sometime after inception, but before the maturity of the contract. And in this series, we are actually going to learn both pricing and valuation of forwards and futures. Now, what exactly do I intend to uh, uh, cover in these set of lectures? One, we start off with pricing of forwards and futures of equity contracts, assuming that there is no dividend. So we make an assumption that there's no dividend, and then we start pricing forwards and futures. Next, we learn two arbitrage techniques, which is cash and carry arbitrage and the reverse cash and carry arbitrage. And then we uh, move on to actually calculate the pricing of equity forwards and futures with dividends. So the dividend, no dividend assumption is broken. And then we see how to actually calculate the price with dividends. And then you obviously have the same two arbitrage techniques again with dividends. Then we move on to calculate the pricing of commodities in, of forwards and future, of commodities forwards and futures. Now. Okay, I mentioned, I probably, I re-mentioned commodities over here, but anyways, so we move on to actually uh, calculate the price of commodity forwards and futures. After that, we see pricing of T-bond forward and pricing of T-bond futures. Now, intentionally, I've just written pricing of T-bond forward and pricing of T-bond futures in two separate rows because for equity and commodities, forwards and futures are priced almost in the same way. There is no real difference in pricing of forwards and futures, whereas for T-bond, Pricing of T-bond forward is different from pricing of T-bond futures. Now, after that is done, we will, uh, we will move on to valuation of forwards and futures. And in valuation of forwards and futures, you again cover all the same techniques. Valuation of forwards and futures of equity, valuation of forwards and futures of commodity, valuation of forwards and futures of T-bond. But of course, there's going to be no significant difference for in case of valuation of all the three, uh, uh, all the three asset types that we actually saw above. What's not covered in these set of lectures is one, pricing and valuation of forward foreign exchange forward and futures. Because foreign exchange is a separate topic in itself and I didn't really want to include that over here. And therefore, this for pricing and valuation of forward, foreign exchange forwards is excluded. At the same time, interest rate derivatives, all interest rate derivatives are outside the scope of this series. I intend to cover the interest rate derivatives, but probably in a separate set of series. So you wouldn't have the FRAs, valuation of swaps, all of that is not covered as part of this series. All right. That's it for this lecture, guys. Obviously, this was more an introductory lecture. And in between, wherever uh, this, this was more to actually, you know, give an idea of what is actually being covered in this entire playlist. And of course, in between, wherever I feel that, you know, maybe if it would be better if I cover some concept which would be relevant in, uh, in these topics, then I would obviously add those videos to the playlist as well. All right. Bye-bye.